Ever pondered how to achieve smooth iPhone footage? Dive into today's exploration of camera rigs and find out. I'll be breaking down top rigs across three distinct budget ranges. We'll look at a professional rig, a super portable rig that folds and fits in your pocket, and a budget-friendly rig. Welcome to the channel. My name is Shai. Let's dive right in. This is the Small Rig Universal Phone Cage. This is a serious piece of equipment here. If you watched Apple's recent keynote, this is what they were using to sample the iPhone 15. Now let's walk around and see what we got here. First, let's look at the dimensions. This thing is 14 inches in length and five inches in height. So it's a serious phone rig here for some content creators, but it comes with a bunch of features. Number one, there's a bunch of cold shoes all around, four to be exact, and we'll see what we can connect there in just a little bit. There's a bunch of screws everywhere in case we want to move where our phone goes. We could even move where the handles go. Now, if you're shooting vertically, there's screws here and there's also screws on the side. So if you want to put them on the side here to shoot vertically, you can do so. Now for the actual phone, this is where you loosen up the rig here and I'm just going to turn it around and here's where we can put our smartphone and we're going to tighten it up here and for those cold shoes we can put a microphone I have one of my favorite lights my loom cube so this is how the full setup would be using those cold shoes and again you can use it horizontally or depending on how you put all the screws in, you could also shoot vertically. Now it is a little bit heavy, about 600 grams, but I wouldn't say is heavier than say your a7 IV with a cage or your other big cameras. Let's look at it from the front here. Now the cool thing as well is if you're shooting on an iPhone 15, it does come with these little straps here. And so as we all know, if you're shooting directly and externally to a drive, you can just strap this in, tie that there so that the hard drive doesn't come off, and then you can just connect it here, USB-C to USB-C. So a serious rig for some content creators. And one last accessory I'll show you that you can also add on here is a small Manfrotto tripod. Because let's say you're shooting and your hands get tired, you don't wanna just lay this down anywhere. So if you got that little mini tripod, you might be breaking for lunch, you can just stand that up and take a little break. So overall, just a serious rig for some serious shooters, especially once you got everything connected here, not something that you can necessarily say is compact, you might need a big bag to store everything in, but if you wanted something more compact, Small Rig does offer something super cool and smaller, and we're gonna look at that next. So I like to use something like this when I really wanna get a stable shot. I might be in action mode and chasing someone down and trying to get that really cool type of running shot. This, I have my two handles. This rig is stable, holds the fold in nice and tight. And so this gives me such a great shot. And when you're tired, cause your forearms are you know, going to work, you can use this Manfrotto tripod literally just put it down when you're on a break. So this is one of my favorites for getting stable shots. So this is my favorite find of the month, the small rig P20 foldable universal cage. First, let's see how long it actually is when it's folded. It's seven inches, so perfect because it's something that can fit in your pocket. However, if you fold it out, let's see how big it is. A little over 12 inches. So the cool thing about this is that it has two cold shoes and it's super light. It only weighs 189 grams. So let's go ahead and put our phone and a few accessories on here. So to put your phone on, you just lift these two levers up and you literally just pull down on it here and it goes right in. Let's put on those accessories. Let's put on the mic from earlier and that loom cube light. All right, so this is what it looks like from behind, what it looks like from the front. And again, if you are shooting, the beauty of this is that you can carry it in your pocket. 
Now, it's not as stable as the previous rig that I just reviewed, but in a pinch, or just if you're someone who shoots a lot and you carry this around in your backpack or your back pocket, it's nice to know that you have a little extra stability and you have a full-fledged phone rig right on you. So small rig P20 foldable phone rig, my favorite find of the month. And if for any reason you wanted to attach this on a tripod, there's also a screw so you can put in any tripod that you have here at the bottom. So really great rig, small, compact, and very versatile. But best of all, again, it fits in your pocket. Looks just like this. Super light. It unfolds, pull these levers up, and you can just put your phone in there. Now I'd use this for vlogging, maybe walking shots. I wouldn't be running, but if you want a little extra stability and not have to hold your phone and have your shaky hands, I think this thing is super perfect. Even has these cold shoes uh, to put in a light or maybe a microphone, super awesome. Now, if you're on a budget, this is the Ulanzi U-Rig. Comes as it is, super light, which is nice. And the handles here, you know, you can get a nice grip. At the very top, there are three cold shoes. One, two, three screws where you can put in tripods or other accessories. Now you can turn this to put your cell phone in. So let's go ahead and put our phone and some accessories on here. Little bit tight. And on the cold shoes, let's throw that loom cube on there again. And let's throw that microphone. Pretty good, pretty stable. So what it looks like from the front and what it looks like from behind. Now you do have a screw at the bottom as well in case you wanted to use a tripod as well. So even though it's plastic, it does feel pretty durable. Uh, again, kind of like the first rig, it's not necessarily something portable that you can throw in your pocket. But for a low budget, a beginning shooter, this is definitely something I would suggest getting that won't break the bank and get you shooting right away. So big thank you to Olanzi U-Rig for creating this. Now you can't fold it and it's not portable like the other rig, but something you can leave in your car, it's lightweight. You can throw your phone on here, it's pretty stable. And you can attach tripods on here and monopods so you can get those really good panning shots and get some cool movements with this type of a rig. Drawn to any of these rigs, then the links are in the description. If this video ignited your filmmaker spirit, hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Hungry for more gear insights, tutorials, and product reviews? Then click on and I'll see you on the next video.